I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today I have a grocery haul for you. I did Walmart grocery pickup and I spent $70.72. And then I also grabbed a few things from Kroger to get stocked up on just some household goods. And then I'll show you our meal plan for the upcoming week. All right, I did get some non-food items. So let me start with those. First, I got some Irish Spring body wash for my husband. Got some of these septic system treatment packs. Got this little thing of lotion. I like to keep this, um, have this little like container um, next to our couch that I keep like our remotes and stuff in. And I like to keep a little thing of lotion there. And I used it all up. So I grabbed that to put there. Got some of these plank garbage disposal cleaners. Got some command strips. And I think that's all the non-food items. Okay, I got this little package of jasmine rice just for a quick side. Got some pinto beans got some lasagna noodles and then i got several things of fresh produce and i still have some produce left over from last week got some mushrooms some shredded carrots an onion an eggplant a couple russet potatoes some spinach iceberg lettuce got two roma tomatoes two limes an english cucumber they were all out of the just regular cucumbers this was a substitution. I ordered just the regular green onions and they subbed for the organic. Got a couple bananas. We've still got some bananas and grapes and pineapple and everything from last week. And then this is a sample. Um, it's just a peach that they put in there. So that was nice. Got some cilantro. I said the iceberg. And then um, we got some mini Coca-Colas. All right. I got some honey roasted peanuts for a recipe some mayonnaise, a can of enchilada sauce, a jar of the minced garlic, got some sliced banana peppers for my husband, a small thing of sour cream, some cottage cheese. I got three bags of frozen vegetables, sweet potatoes, mixed vegetables, and peas and carrots for our dog's food. I got a bag of Italian style cheese, a bag of shredded Monterey Jack cheese, a block of cheddar cheese, some American cheese slices, lots of cheese. And then this was also a substitution. I think I ordered the Sarah Lee and they subbed it for the same choice, which that's fine. All right, so that's what I got at Walmart. Like I said, I'll show you what I got from Kroger and then I'll show you our meal plan. Here's what I got at Kroger. I spent $35.26, but I saved almost $20, which was awesome. So I don't know if I've mentioned this before on my channel. If I have, I know it's been a while, but in my area, the grocery stores put out their sales ads on Wednesdays. And so on Wednesday, I always like to look at the different grocery stores in my area to see what's on sale, if there's anything that I've been wanting to stock up on, or if there's anything that's, you know, I've been wanting to make that's going on sale, like meat and things like that. I like to get it when it's at a good price. So I checked the sales ad for Kroger this week and they had a good sale on several items that I'd been wanting to get stocked up on. So I did a pickup order and this is what I got. So let me show you. So first I wanted to get stocked up on some of our household goods. Now, I know um, a lot of you, we've communicated back and forth, have like stock up pantries or pantries where you keep extras of things. But a good idea is not just to keep extra food, but also household items. Because if you think about it, if you know, if you get snowed in or have, you know, bad weather or maybe lose income or, you know, with the things that happened last year, we don't just use food at home. We also use household goods. So it's a really good idea to, to keep extra of that if you can, if you have the, the finances and the space to be able to do that. So that's what I wanted to do. So this was a substitution. I ordered the snuggle dryer sheets and they were out of stock and they subbed me this huge thing at downy dryer sheets so that was a great substitution in my favor now croaker on their snuggle fabric softener scent boosters dryer sheets and then they're all detergent this week is all on sale for $2.99 and then if you buy five you get an additional dollar off so these snuggle fabric softeners ended up being a dollar 99 each and then this all fabric uh, laundry detergent rather was also a dollar 99 and then the Dawn dishwashing liquid is part of that, um, you know, buy five, save five. So this was $1.99. And then the this cost me $1.99 as well because, like I said, I had ordered this snuggle and they substituted it. So got sucked up on our laundry detergent and, um, 
you know, fabric softener and dishwashing liquid. So that's good. And then I did another uh, five for five. So I got two packages of these Oscar Mayer wieners. We're going to grill out hamburgers and hot dogs for Labor Day. And so while these were on a really great price, I wanted to go ahead and get them. These ended up being $1.25 each after the sale price and then the save a dollar. And then I got two of these Ben and Jerry's. So we haven't really had Ben and Jerry's before, but my husband and I watched this new Food Network show the other night where um, it's like a cooking competition where they're creating ice cream flavors for Ben and Jerry's. And he said that he would like to try it, but we looked at Walmart and these were like almost $5 for this little container. And I was like, we are not paying that. But these were on sale this week. So with the sale price and then the dollar off if you buy five of the items, this ended up being, I think, $2.99, much better than almost $5. So I got this half-baked and strawberry cheesecake for us to try. This ended up being, I believe, $1.99 with the sale price and the dollar off. This is the Nature Zone Perfectly Crafted Thick Sliced White Bread. We've had this before. It was really good. It's just been a while. And then this wasn't part of the pick five sale, but I believe this was on sale and then there was a digital coupon. And I think this was $1.99. So my husband hasn't tried this Waterloo brand before, but this is their strawberry flavored sparkling water. He loves sparkling water, so I got that for him to try. And then this wasn't on sale, but I've mentioned these before on my channel and I wanted to stock up on them. I like the paper towels from Kroger. This package is, I think, $6 and you get six nice size of these Selecta sheets. They're good quality, so I like to get those there. And then finally, um, Walmart does not have this and I'm wanting to try a recipe for a butter chicken that I saw on, I believe it was Jess and the Boys. And this is part of the recipe, you need this. And so while I was doing my Kroger pickup order, I just went ahead and grabbed this um, and it was on sale. I can't remember the price, but it, it was like $3 and something. So I went ahead and grabbed that so that I've got it to make the butter chicken. All right, that's what I got from Kroger. Let me show you our meal plan. Okay, here is our meal plan for the upcoming week. We'll start on Thursday. So this is a carryover from last week. I'm making chicken teriyaki bowls. On Friday, I'm making a steak pad thai. Now this is not at all an authentic recipe. This is actually a, I believe it's a home chef recipe that we had years and years ago. Um, and so I'm just going to make that. I've got a strip steak in the freezer that I need to use up. On Saturday, I'm going to make some sliders. Sunday, I'm going to do pintos, cornbread, um, and then probably like some macaroni and tomatoes and fried potatoes. On Monday, I'm making a vegetable lasagna. I haven't made this for several years, but we love it. Um, it's got eggplant, mushrooms, spinach, all kinds of yummy things in it. So that we'll have that Monday and probably a salad. Tuesday, I'm trying a honey mustard rich chicken. I've made rich chicken before and it's really simple, but it's pretty tasty. Um, but I saw a recipe for a honey mustard version of that, which I love honey mustard, so I'm excited to try that. And then Wednesday, I'm not sure yet what we will have. Um, I've mentioned this before on my channel, although I do put these in day order. We don't necessarily stick to it by day. I'll move things around depending on, you know, what we feel like having that day or what I feel like or don't feel like rather cooking. Um, so we may you know, just move things around or I'll also pull something like from my freezer or pantry one day. But that is our meal plan for the upcoming week. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.